Hello everybody, John Jakowski here, Kibbutz Grima Shatiba. Today we're going to talk about the thrust and the ascending diagonal cuts in the Jaime Merilo's Sabre system. Now I'm holding an 1887 infantry model. It's a little bit straighter than they normally come. Most of the time they have a little more curve. Okay. So let's start with the thrust. Jaime Merilo has three thrusts in his system. The first one is going to be the thrust in third. Looks like this. Okay. The next one is going to be the thrust in fourth. It's going to have the fingernails to the air. It's kind of like this. And then the thrust in fifth is going to have the edge up. The point is a little bit down. It's going to look like this. Okay. Then from the side, start again. The thrust in third. Fingernails down. The knuckles are up. And the thrust in fourth. All right. Fingernails to the sky or to the air. And then the thrust in fifth. And then we have the two ascending diagonal cuts in the system. They look kind of like this here. So we start here with the inside line. Your edge is facing to the left. It's going to be a violent movement, a natural movement, and then another violent movement to finish the action. One more time. Violent, natural, violent. And in the ascending cut from the outside. You'll start here on the outside line. Your edge is facing to the right. A violent movement, a natural movement, and then you'll come up with this fingernails to the air position and cut like this. One more time. Okay, now these can be connected too, continuous ascending diagonal cuts. 